Hey there, everybody. This is Dwayne Ferguson, also known to the criminal element as Hunter Wolf. That's right, you bad guys. I'm always watching you. Moving right along, though. What I want to talk to you guys today about is how to get your bump map that you create inside of 3D Code to appear properly inside of Maya. Now, I'm going to show you a quick render of this elephant that I created called Hannibal, one of my company mascots. And as you can see here, we have these bump maps that give a little bit of an illusion of some kind of depth in the ears, where we have wrinkles on the trunk and the forehead. 3D Coat will make this map for you automatically if you add it in the layers. So in my layers, as you can see, I have all these different layers, and I created one called Bump. On the Bump layer, I used a, an alpha pen to draw in some of these wrinkles. And I also used a material uh, over here to do the same thing. So I, choose, I chose one of the skin materials to create the bump. All right. So once you have all that done and you've painted your texture, you're going to go to File and you're going to choose Export Model. And I'll just put this on my desktop in a new folder. I'll call it Test. And I'll call it Test. I'm saving it as an OBJ. And when I click Save, I'll be given the export dialog box and make sure you have export tangent normal map and if you want to you can also choose to export a regular old bump map this is the one we want to focus on when we get to Maya the tangent normal map so I'm gonna say okay and in a moment my model as well as all the textures will wind up on my desktop in the folder test and as you can see, this is the object that we exported. Here's the specular map, the normal map. This is what's going to have the wrinkles on it, the color map, and the bump map. All right, so I'm going to hop over to Maya, and I'm going to bring that model in. I'll go to File, Import, and on my desktop, I'm going to choose to bring in test.obj. All right. Now, as you can see, it comes in quite large. So what I'm going to do is just scale this guy down a little bit. I, I mean, I know he's an elephant and all, but come on. Taking up my whole screen. Whoops. All right, so I'm going to just reduce him quite a bit so I can get him to fit more properly on my grid here. And I'll also move him up a little tiny bit. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. And this is Hannibal and he's ready for his textures. So I'm going to hop over to the Hypershade and show you exactly where to plug that in. So I'm going to go to Panels, and I'm going to go to Panel again, Hypershade. All right, so this is the actual material that the bump map and everything is going to go on, this test render material. So I'll double click on it, and this is the fun part. I'm going to find the region where the bump is located. But first I'll put the color on. I'll click here on the little checkerboard, click File, and then I'm going to add that file to this particular uh, model. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and where it says Image Name, I'll click on the folder, go to my desktop again, and add the color map. So the color map is now going to be applied to the model. So let's go back to our regular view. And as you can see, here's the color map. Hey, awesome. So let's go back to the Hypershade. And I'm going to show you how to put the bump map on. So once again, I'll double click on that texture. It's a little hard to see all that, so let me go ahead and move this over. This is the same texture that was white before, but now it has that texture on it. And I'm going to find the bump mapping. Here we go. And it, as you can see, it's blank. Same thing, click right here in the little checkerboard, File, and I'm going to uh, load in the texture where it says Bump Value. Now, why here instead of Bump Depth? Well, if I put it in the Bump Depth, I can't change how high or low the wrinkles look inside of the elephant's skin. So if I put it in the value, I can still have control over how high or low that wrinkle looks. So I'm going to put it in the value image name. I'm going to grab the normal map, the N map. Hit open. And I'm going to click 
this arrow right here and when I see the 2D bump attributes I'm going to choose use as tangent space normals now the texture will render properly on the elephant so that is how you uh, successfully place your bump map on your texture file inside of Maya you uh, bring it in on your uh, hypershade on the default material that's provided by 3d code you add your color and then you add your bump map so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will do more on 3D Code and how to use it in conjunction with other applications. Be sure to check out my website at diehardstudio.com. And if you want to learn more about Maya, Lightwave, Photoshop, After Effects, and a whole bunch of other cool applications, be sure to check out my tutorials at vtc.com. So once again, guys, this is Dwayne Ferguson signing off. Take care and go out there and create some cool stuff. And criminals, I'm still watching you.